We're gonna show you uh, somewhat of a review. I mean, I don't really need a review of Microtech. I mean, who cares what I think about a Microtech? We already know what they are. Um, obviously, short brief, best production knife ever made. Um, and then on top of that, best automatic production knife ever made. And, uh, and then another category would be best out the front auto knife ever made. And then on top of that, because you have, you know, continuous torsion springs or double action out the front. So this right here, um, 25 years of owning Microtech out the fronts. Um, this is the only one that I have been able to compare. Uh, early was a Nemesis, a Nemesis great knife, love the knife, wrong button, button placement, but whatever. Um, and then obviously the best knife of all time, uh, the Halo 3. Um, I did put a video on the Halo 3. Um, if I remember, I'll try to put a link to that or just maybe shoot an updated one because uh, Microtech, those guys are so awesome. Um, I, it's my fault, uh, you know, I've used my Halo 3 for 20 years, I've, I've had about a dozen of them, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, yes, I've lost some, um, but, uh, one that has stuck around, I ended up, uh, it was my fault, I damaged it, give it to Microtech, and they went above and beyond, and it is just amazing to me not only the quality that they put out but the fact that they're willing to take care of some customers mistakes too and uh, be extremely gracious about it um when the few times that i have i mean like one or two times in the past where i've sent a knife off because maybe i've gotten too much lint in it or something like that when microtech sends a knife back it is just immaculate. You think you just got a brand new knife again. So, I mean, obviously the thrill and addiction of Microtex, there's nothing like it. And that's why, uh, you know, obviously fixed blade sheaths will always be the repertoire of uh, many sheath makers because it's a sheath knife. Um, this is my exception. It's because I'm never carrying one Microtech. And... Most of the time, I really like carrying three or so in, uh, in different places. But um, every once in a while, you do need a cover for that Microtech button. You want to cover so nothing goes down into um, the port of the blade ejection. Um, you know, you want to keep those things off of it. So whether you keep it in a pocket, a bag, uh, hanging on a molly, uh, Velcro it to the ceiling of a truck. Um, no matter what you do with it, there are some times where you do need that cover um, because when you see that, I mean, a lot of things can get down in these blades, um, you know, right into that ejection port and then they get on the blade, the blade is not operating the way you want, whatever the case may be. Um, so having something uh, that is a good fit that's that's functional because obviously you know you can take a soft case or you know some generic thing and throw it in a pouch or something but then you know you've got the uh, ability to do something that's molded protects it great re-entry also protects where your clip is with that uh little uh mouth that uh you know it creates a funnel uh, is all it does it just gives it more room for the knife to go in um, and then we also add our adjustable retention system. So that allows you, uh, you know, like a quarter of a turn. And our stuff doesn't, uh, you know, a lot. the new stuff does not need Loctite. Uh, we have a proprietary system inside of our own screw sets. We are the only company that has that and they will not back off uh, under vibration. So, which is very, very key. Um, and obviously, you know, a nice um, solid retention, but you know, when you go to draw the knife, you know, I don't want to lose my knives ever. And so, I mean, you've got like a 
Nice little secure package. Doesn't rattle. <laughs> so I think that's key. Um, and even right now, I'm gonna show you real quick uh, because I thought maybe, you know, just a little loose. Not bad. But what I will do to this one, like I do to every single one of them, I hand make each one. I don't use a cookie cutter process. I think I've referred to that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I start to adjust these uh, before I uh, put any other attachments on them. That way we can get a real idea of how it's gonna draw. Um, this particular sheath will be the very first one that goes up for sale. I'm probably gonna put it on eBay which, um, however you feel about that, I don't know if I can put a link to the eBay listing. I'm pretty sure that I've been, they've kicked off videos for that, or they've at least, I mean, obviously I'm throttled. Look what I do for, you know, look what I post about. So um, I'm gonna be throttled um, or ghost banned or whatever their stupid uh, uh, mental term is. Um, you know, to make you feel better about it. Uh, throttled seems like I would get more views and throttled seems like I'd have my stuff sped up into, you know, expedited. Uh, so it's funny. Um, it's not funny. It's just, we know today is when they say up, you better look down, you know that. So I'm going to put just a little bit more heat on, uh, this right here. And, um, uh, and then you'll be able to buy, um, uh, Microtech Hera sheaths from me and my sheaths um, they can be uh, obviously we can put uh, old Desert Shield pair 550 cord there um, I've got the old stuff so we can uh, put that on a lanny you know obviously you can put a chain through it and then you've got a hanger and what's nice is, is once you uh, put my stuff in you have the hanger, it hangs correctly. So, you know, it's definitely got to loosen that. Um, the other option, which is nice, is we have metal and plastic uh, clips. And these clips are fully adjustable, and all they need is some hardware, a little extra, and, and they can be uh, tuckables, and you can place them left or right hand. Uh, so you can have a tuckable inside waistband uh, out the front, Microtech. Um, and I think, um, just had to swipe something off the screen there. Um, this creates a sheath that can also be mounted. Uh, so you can put a Molly attachment on it, a tech lock attachment, um, any of the industry standards for inside or outside the waistband carry. Um, it's an unbelievably small handy unit it completely changes carry of all your out the front all your any folding knife and especially if the folding knife does not have a clip on it like when i refer to the halo halo is halo nemesis exodus and um the uh combat talon you know besides i guess early cfos and and then um other brands that didn't have it um and I will invoke it's the Rob Dalton Ranger. Um, that's would be probably the oldest non clip out the front that I've made uh, uh, next sheets for. Um, they're perfect for a concealed sheath that's slim line that you have versatile carryover where you don't have to just carry it on your neck. Something you carry inside the waistband. Um, all my stuff is modular, so uh, actually you can uh, use it as a sidecar where you put your holster, you put a mag beside it, and then you put a flashlight, then a microtech. So um, I'll build a system, however, uh, you know, it, if you tell me what you want to wear in, in or around your belt, if you think you got the proper clothing to do it, I can definitely put it on you, you know, if you can wear it around your belt. But uh, when you think about things like that, you know, Obviously, you know, inside waistband, we always have our gun. And then, you know, you usually always have, like, you know, a double mag or something like that. 
um, as I like scan around real quick, be like, hey, look, you know, then you have your magazine um, inside the pants. Um, I guess I've got more here too. So, you know, inside the waistband magazine holders and then, um, you know, right by, right behind that, you can also have a uh, microtech and then you can have a flashlight. Uh, so it's a very modular system. What I'm going to do is, um, I think the hair is going to be an ideal blade. I mean, I obviously the pocket clip is just phenomenal. Um, it is nice to have that option for them. So I'm a little restricted when it comes to Ultratex. Uh, whenever I make sheets for Ultratex, it seems like um, they get blocked or there's definitely, um, there's definitely a, um, something in the algorithm that does not like Ultratex. Uh, so I do them for the uh, UT85, the UTX70. Um, I, every Microtech, yeah. Every Microtech, that's why, it, you know, I see some, I, or I've heard of, you know, different people, they list, all right, here's what I can do sheaths for without your knife. Um, every Microtech and a lot of Daltons, but it's not like you want to carry a Dalton in a neck sheath, except for the Asp, which I need to do a video on a Dalton Asp because I don't think there's many out there. Um, or any other Daltons. So I might go through some of my Daltons and start uh, showing them off a little bit. Um, obviously, uh, RIP Rob, and since then, um, like any fine art goes up. And, uh, you know, considering uh, we all have to uh, be mindful of that, I think uh, someone else might appreciate it at that value more than I will. So we'll, we'll find out who that is. Not that I'm eager to get rid of anything, because uh, whenever you uh, get rid of a knife, it hurts a little bit. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and get some of these um, listed, at least put one on eBay, see how it goes. Um, if anybody else wants one, just go ahead, go on my Instagram and message me. Uh, you can message me, I think, through YouTube. I'm not really sure. Um, I am just now trying to get familiar with all this crap and trying to post stuff that is either on my mind or what I'm doing. So, um, for nobody else's enjoyment but my own. And, uh, you know, just to have some sort of an archive of, um, you know, what's going on around this time without talking about all the crazy stuff. Uh, because I also post about that too. You know, when, whenever you see lunacy, you need to call it out to make sure others don't get confused that lunacy is now normal.